Hey there, it's Rachel with Bubbly Balloon Co. here to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. There are questions I get asked time and time again in the comments, and some of them actually have pretty long answers. So I thought it'd be easier just to make this quick video and really give you my two cents on some of these questions I just keep getting asked. So if you're here for one specific question, feel free to use the timestamps at the bottom. Um, go ahead and just jump to whatever question you want that one answer for. But otherwise, um, sit back and I'll explain just a few things I get asked about all the time. The question I get asked the absolute most is twofold. People ask how early can I make this creation and how long will it last? Okay. That's actually, there's, I have a bit to say on this, okay, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> how long it's going to last and how long it's going to look amazing is going to completely depend on, most importantly, the quality of balloons you're using. If you're using professional grade brands like I do, um, or if you're using, you know, a kit off of Amazon where, no offense, but these things, you know, they're made pretty cheaply overseas, not at all the same level of quality, okay? It's also gonna depend on the technique you're using, and it's going to depend on the environment you're in. If your balloons are kept indoors, you know, in the air conditioning, away from the sun and the windows and the, you know, heat, um, it's gonna last a lot longer. So let's just say in a perfect scenario, you're using professional grade balloons, you have, um, you know, you've practiced a little bit, you're pretty confident, you're tying your knots pretty tight, not, not too tight, you're gonna rip them, but you know, it's a good seal on the air and they're in a good environment. This things, <laughs> these could look perfect for weeks or longer. A lot of my creations I've had to take down after, you know, two or three months of being up. Um, it just, it, it depends on so many factors, okay? Um, but let's be honest, a lot of you guys are going to be using kits you got off of Amazon or maybe off of Etsy, and it's not going to be those results for you. I don't want you to go into expecting that and being disappointed, okay? So if you're using those cheaper balloons, um, you're newer to this, I totally understand that. Um, what I always, always, always recommend is test it, okay? And what I mean by that is as soon as your balloons arrive, pick out like a couple in each size and color, inflate those, okay, ahead of time and see how long they last. It, it look, wash them as they age. Some, I've had, I've had it happen where they haven't even lasted a day before. It's very, very rare, but that has happened to me um, in my early days when I was using kits. That's, that's what, you know, that happened once or twice. For the most part, I saw they still looked fine after one or two days. But that's how you're going to have confidence in how your garland is going to look if you make it a day early or two days early. Um, I probably wouldn't go any earlier than that, even if you're using professional grade balloons, okay, just to be super safe because that's kind of how I am. Um, but if you inflate them ahead of time, look at how they age, you can have a little bit of reassurance for yourself, okay, with what I'm using, how I'm doing it, where I'm doing it. This is, you know, I can tell on the next day these still look perfect. Okay, even if you're doing all of that, I recommend adding your small details, your five inch balloons, the day of. Um, those small balloons don't age the same, in my experience. Maybe they will for you, but for me, they tend to age quicker, shrink faster, and a couple of days can make a big difference with those. So I would add those in day of, all right? Okay, that leads me into another question I get asked all the time, which is, what balloons do you use? Where do you buy them? Where, like, where do you get your 260s from? So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that right now. Um, I've actually made one or two videos on this. I will link any videos mentioned down in the video description below if you're interested in finding out everything I have to say on the subject, getting all the answers, it's gonna be down there, okay? But short answer, I love the professional brands. Qualtex, Toftex, Calisian. Um, I use Sempertex, I use Ellie's, I use basically any of the pro brands. Some of my very favorite places to buy are gonna be Bargain Balloons, Balloons.online, PS Helium. Um, there's a whole bunch of places I buy from and I do cover them in the video I mentioned. So if you wanna see that, go check it out down below. But off the top of my head, those are some of my most, my most favorite, my most frequent um, places that I buy from. As far as 260s, they don't have to be high quality in my experience. Like for what I use them for, in terms of attaching clusters or hanging garlands or adding details, stuff like that, I don't need my 260s to be Qualtex. Like I just, I don't need them to be 260 Qs. I will use the cheapest um, 260s or 160s that I can buy when I'm placing an order for other stuff. So like balloon stuff online is where I buy my Sempertex. Sempertex is one of the most inexpensive bands out there, but they have really amazing colors. 
Um, as far as professional balloon brands go, they have really amazing colors and I do love to use them a lot. So I'll buy 260s from Sempertax or if I'm on Bargain Balloons' website, they have a brand called Decomex. If they make um, 260s or even off brand, I don't care. I really don't care. If you're not up for buying professional grade balloons, I understand that's an investment. It's expensive to try and find stuff that's in stock from different places and pay shipping for all of that. Totally get it. So if you're still on the Amazon phase, no, not a problem at all. You can find 260s on Amazon or honestly, guys, your local party store. Like Walmart probably has them. Um, for sure, Party City and any other party supplier, you know, any other... Um, yeah, any other store like that's gonna have them as well, okay? So don't worry about your 260s on quality for what we're talking about, all right? Now, if you are gonna be buying your balloons on Amazon or Etsy, you're not ready to make the jump into buying professional grade stuff, I totally understand that. And I do actually have a video that um, gives you all of my advice on how to do that and kind of like know what you're getting yourself into because a lot of what is advertised on Amazon and even Etsy is not what you get. So I do have a video breaking that down. I will link it in the description below if you want to check that out. All right, another question I get asked all the time is what inflator do I use? What inflator do I recommend? Now guys, I know there's a lot of inflators on the market. Not only the professional ones, but the amateur ones as well on Amazon. There's so many in that like $25 to $30 price range. A lot of them, in my experience, in my opinion, they're pretty much garbage. Um, they will do the job, but they get overheated really fast. Sometimes they break down. I have a lot of them, I purchase a lot of them. Um, it's fine, any of them will work, to be honest. It's just how long you're gonna need it for. Like if I'm doing an all day job, I know that I can't rely on that or use it for 20 minutes, like give it a break and then come back later, you know? It's just not strong enough to withstand that. Now, that being said, the inflator I use is an amateur one. It is in that same price range. It is maybe a couple dollars more than the cheapest one you can get on Amazon. But I've had such good experience with it, and that is this little blue guy here that you've probably seen in all of my videos. Now I do link this one in the video description for pretty much every video I've done. Um, and I will have this link down below as well if you wanna go check it out on Amazon. Like I said, it is stupidly cheap. It is only a few dollars more than the very cheapest one available. But in my um, opinion, my experience, whatever, I just had really good luck with it. I've had that specific one for maybe like three years and it's never died on me. It's never um, impeded a job I was on. I've never had an issue with it, even on like 10 and 12 hour days on site. I don't use it extensively for 10 to 12 hours. Like I will use it for an hour and then get a break and come back. And I also own two or three of them and I always pack my backup just in case because I'm so paranoid. But I've really had just the best luck with that model, which is why I always use it and why I always link it. I just am really partial to it. Um, there are a lot of professional models out there that are much more expensive. And if you guys would be interested in that, if that's something you wanna see from me, you wanna see me um, you know, make an investment or two in that area, do some reviews for you guys. If that's something you wouldn't mind spending a little bit of money on yourself, I can absolutely do that. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you wanna see. I know starting out a DIY business like this, um, you know, every dollar counts, you know what I mean? Uh, I reinvested most of the money I made um, for a long time in this business and I honestly, I still do. So I get, you know, being frugal and, and trying to be smart where it counts. Um, for me, some of the best areas to put those investments towards is the quality of balloons. I think that makes a huge difference. The size of balloons, getting um, that range of size on each job. Those things, I think, make a huge difference. Accents like uh, aqua bobos or, you know, confetti balloons or orbs. Those things can make a huge difference in the final look. Um, whereas this inflator for me has done the job without having to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on like a really fancy inflator. So anyway, like I said, very willing to spend that money, um, do that research, do those reviews for you guys. If you're interested, just let me know. Now, if there's any like major burning questions I haven't answered for you today, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love hearing your guys' feedback. I love hearing your questions. I do try my best to get back to every single one of you. Sometimes it takes me a hot minute, but I do try. So go ahead and leave me any additional questions, anything else you'd like more insight on, and I will take it into consideration for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.